Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dwombat Gaming. I'm Dwombat, and we are still playing Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. In the last episode, we completed the Orc campaign by capturing Grom, making him not demonic, and then killing Manoroth in that really awesome cinematic that I hope you all watched. And in today's episode, we're going to continue with the last campaign of Reign of Chaos, the Night Elf campaign, Eternity's End. Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. Now, you saw I had other chapters unlocked. That's because I played these to make sure I remembered them. <sighs> Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. With the heroic sacrifice of Grom Hellscream, the pit lord Manoroth was slain, and the demon curse that had plagued the orcs was put to an end. However, the combined human and orc forces have moved deeper into Ashenvale Forest to ascertain whether a demonic threat still lingers in the land. Tyrande Whisperwind, the leader of the Night Elf Sentinels, believes that the Outlanders will bring only doom to her enchanted homeland. And there she is, Tyrande Whisperwind, on her awesome striped knight saber tiger thingy. Majestic. Glorious, even. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. She can send out an owl that reveals the area and reveals invisible units. Put your backs into it. Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah! We shouldn't even be here! Or siding with the orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. So I found that very cool, seeing the orcs and humans working together. I think that's very interesting. And now, here's the tutorial mission for playing as the Night Elves. So this is your Tree of Life. It is your main the building. The Tree of Life is the heart of our Night Elf villages. Use the tree's ability to entangle the gold mine. After entangling the mine, send wisps in to extract gold. So it takes time to entangle a gold mine. And let's make one more wisp, because we can. The goddess calls. And as soon as we can, we'll get this quest, but she has to talk about our wisps. Gold and lumber for our villages. They also create the structures that allow us to train more warriors. Come on, give me the quest. Someone threatens the wilds? Ugh. Yeah, wisp attach themselves to trees to gather lumber, so they're actually my- This is my we least favorite way to get lumber. To leave this place, priestess. There is a terrible evil corrupting these lands, and I will not allow it to consume my people. Unfortunately, we cannot leave until the rest of our tribe has been accounted for. Do not fear, old one. I will find your tribesmen and lead them back to you. Thank you, Priestess. We will reward you when you return. Alright, so that is the one Master optional quest Cora. of this mission. As the goddess will. There's another gold mine right here, I so that's fancy. So be it. Let's continue. We have to explore the map, obviously, As because we're looking will. for the rest of the fur bulgs. So we head back up this way. You notice this is the area that Taronda was looking at. You can build additional moon wells to nourish more troops. And indeed we can. Let's take one of the wisps out of the gold mine and build a moon well. Gold. Wa -da -da. Insufficient gold. All right. Create more moon now, back up here, we actually found the, the extra the archers that are available on... Wait, come on. Your moon. Seriously? Oh. I heed the voice of there we go. I only got so one of them, it. but they all changed color. Anyways, yeah, we got three extra archers here, the and there are a couple of fur bogs up here that we can send back to their tribe. 
So there we go. Off to a good start already. This is the easiest mission in the Night Elf campaign. More troops. Construct an ancient of war. That I will. Let's do it. I wish this moon well would hurry up. Let's make another one. We can't build there. Very close to being Your done. All right. Someone threatens the wild. Uh, I believe there's fur bogs down in this direction. So be it. Now, the Night Elves, their basic okay. unit is the Archer, and as you can see, obviously, they're Archers. They have a very long range. So when you play the Night Elves, you can actually focus fire on your enemies. And by that I mean, instead of doing an attack move, you can right-click on something and try and kill it as fast as possible, thereby eliminating their forces one by one instead of going um, several at a time. But doing one by one is actually a better approach, because that way they have less units to hit you with. So let's demonstrate that right here. See how we can do. And if we do a bit of micro, ensure that they attack our hero unit, because she has more health. I the voice and this way, we're not going to lose a single unit. A new Dora. Despite the fact that they have more health and deal more damage, we have the range to be able to focus them down. So, be it. so that's Rapa. very handy. Let's start training archers, because that's part of our mission. As you can see, we got to train archers. That's part of our main mission, so we cannot complete the without doing that. Uh, we have a wisp who's idle, so let's get him going. How many wisps do I have getting lumber? Let's have one more. Someone threatens the wild. And let's grab that scroll of protection because we can. And as you can see, there's a fountain of health right here. So let's let's head over to that. Waiting on Heal up our poor archers. Immediately. And Taronda, I guess, but she's not very poor. Making more archers. You see there's a gold mine right here. As soon as our units are healed up, we're going to head over to that gold mine, because there are some people blocking it, and I'd like to take it over, because it's... I mean, we could take this gold mine, I suppose, but that one's closer. And the main goal of the mission is to kill the paladin, Duke Lionheart, that was presiding over that fortress, town, place. I stand ready. So that is, that is what we shall do. Let's make another moon well, and another... Ancient of War? Is it just A? No, it's R. Weird. And we can make another Wisp. Now, whenever you build an Ancient, an Ancient of a Tree of Life, or an Ancient of War, or an Ancient of anything, that consumes the Wisp. The Wisp becomes that building. So that's another unique thing to the Night Elves that I don't really like. Night Elves are my least favorite race, I would have to say. I don't really like them in World of Warcraft either. I just don't like Night Elves. Just that's just something about me. There we go. Spread out the damage. Another thing I don't like about Night Elves is how long it takes to destroy buildings with your units. Because after we take care of these peons, you're gonna see. Ugh, it takes forever. At least, you know, in this mission, it's going to take forever. Make another moon well. Keep making archers. Your building is complete. The goddess calls. Keep making archers. The goddess calls. Waiting on you. In the name of See, it takes a long time to destroy a building. I don't know if I will take this gold mine, because we have enough gold. We're making two archers at a time. Oh, never mind. We probably will need it. And it looks like they were about to attack our base. I don't want them to be able to do that. Look at that micro keeping these archers alive. What a bamf I am. But seriously, that's not easy to do, so... I'm proud of myself for doing it. Your building is complete. So and let's it. find more fur bogs. They've got to be up here somewhere. As the goddess wills. Oh, they have griffins. 
Luckily for us, we have a ton of ranged units, which is the counter to Riven Riders. Fire! 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 And we leveled up. Taronda's one of those more what interesting kind of heroes. She has an aura that increases the damage of all friendly ranged units, as well as this weird uh, owl that can be used to scout. So that's cool, I guess. But it's not incredibly useful in combat, which is what I usually do. I don't really care about scouting all that much. I guess I can use him to find furbolgs. There's one here. Can you tell him to... No, it has to be a ground unit. The goddess calls. Now it is daytime. So be it. Immediately. Night elves also have the ability to hide in the nighttime I so that nobody can see them. So that's pretty cool. In the name Focus of fire. Focus fire. And see, we're killing them one by one. So be it. It's pretty good. Immediately. Save those furbolgs. So be it. I believe there's more furbolgs over I here. Am. Along with these patrolling uh, wyvern riders. There's two furbolgs up here. Voila. And now we just have to get that one that we saw with our owl. So let's have. Oh, I bet there's some items in these as well. So let's do that. Uh, you can. What's this? Oh, there's an extra archer, I suppose. Uh, break open that. No items? No items. Alright. Well, let's have our units head back to this well. Or this fountain, I mean. Point the way. You head back. You head over here. Let's have both of you guys make a bunch of archers. Send them right there. And I want Taronda to head back to the Furball camp to get our reward. Our reward? Well, you guys guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't locate all the Furballs? Are there more Furballs somewhere? Well, poop. Where are they? Still making archers, so that's good. Making a bunch. Where are the Furballs? This is the base. Oh, there's Furballs down here. Okay. As the goddess there. Wills. Did it. Got all the furballs. Now we can head back here. I stand ready. That was silly of me to think that we had that done. Make more moon wells. We can't build them. That way we can make more archers. I stand ready. Many thanks, priestess. Now we can evacuate the village. Please accept the aid of our champion. He will protect your life with his own. Your offer is a generous one. May a loon light your path to safety. I stand ready. And... Takes a little bit. Don't know why it takes that long. Voila! We get some furbolgs to join our group. So we have some melee people to absorb damage. Waiting on you. So there we go. Got a nice big army. So let's make our way over to slaughter that Your building is annoying freaking paladin and his orcs and humans. We have such a big army. We can focus fire the Paladin down immediately. Except he has that ability that makes him immune to all damage. Makes him invincible. So that's annoying. Alright, focus fire. Let's do this. Oh yeah, also Night Elves are immortal. They live forever unless they get killed. Look at how quickly we kill things. Where's that paladin? I don't see a paladin anywhere. There he is. Focus on him. And, oh, focus on him. Alright, he went invincible, so let's just kill everything around us. Until he's not invincible. Oh, 
Just keep... Whatever. We can lose units. We have plenty. And focus on the penalty. Kill him as fast as possible. We don't even need these furballs. He does have a lot of armor, so he takes less damage from everything. But we do have plus two from our true shot aura. I could use the scroll of protection. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Not very important. Alright, and that is the end of this mission. Well, the end of the mission, not the end of the episode. Look, look, guys, in the distance. It's a rare panda pandaren. Pandaren furbolg person. <laughs> Do you see that? Or it's like a polar bear grizzly bear. It was a pizzly bear. Or something. What is going on? Demons! Tychondrius! And the undead! They must have followed us from Lordaeron. Well, poop. Why would you bring them here? That's horrible. The dead advance in waves. Quickly, my sisters. Back to the trees. We are no match for a force this fast. Yeah, no, you're not. Alright, so that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Click the like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos. I update all the time. And I will see you guys next time.